Less than 5% of people with retirement accounts know this secret hack. It not only supercharges retirement savings, but it builds generational wealth. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. It's called a self-directed IRA and it can help you become a multi-millionaire. Now, before I get into the specifics of what a self-directed IRA is, let me tell you that this is a perfectly legal way to invest for retirement. And in fact, there's an entire section of the IRS tax code dedicated to the rules regarding a self-directed IRA. So if you wanna know more about the ins and outs of the rules around a self-directed IRA, leave the word rules in the comments down below. Okay, so let's start by answering the basic question, what is a self-directed IRA? And if you're anything like me, you have some retirement accounts from previous employers just sitting there. You can't contribute to them and you haven't rolled them over. Well, I had three of these accounts and I was wondering what I could do with them besides rolling them over. I'd heard about Bitcoin and I was wondering if I could use my old retirement accounts to invest in Bitcoin. So I did some research and I learned about the self-directed IRA. A self-directed IRA is the same type of account as a traditional IRA. It has the same annual limits for contributions, you have penalties if you withdraw money early, and you have to reach the eligible retirement age before you can withdraw funds without any penalty. Now, the key difference between a traditional IRA and a self-directed IRA is in the types of investments that you can make. So let's look back at your traditional retirement accounts. In those, you can invest in stocks, mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, bonds. These are typical securities that you can use your retirement funds to invest in. Now, a self-directed IRA is very different. Not only can you invest in all of those same securities, but you can also invest in things like precious metals, cryptocurrency. You can invest in a business. You can be a private lender. You can fix and flip homes. You can buy rental properties. You can also buy short-term rentals and even build a glamping site. You can invest in a much broader array of assets through a self-directed IRA. The other key difference is how a self-directed IRA IRA is managed. So instead of using a traditional financial firm to invest the retirement account, you would actually work with a qualified custodian who would manage that account. You would open a self-directed IRA with that custodian, transfer your money over, and then you would establish a self-directed IRA LLC. And your custodian can help you do that, or another qualified legal firm can help you do that. Once you've established that self-directed IRA LLC, you can then open a business checking account. And that's pretty much it. Once you have funded that checking account with your retirement funds, you as the manager of that self-directed IRA LLC can then choose the investments and move the money over. And just like with a traditional IRA, the profits have to stay within that account so you can't take them out personally, but that money will be waiting for you when you reach eligible retirement age. Given that you can invest in a much broader array of assets, you could potentially earn a lot more money for your retirement. So let's talk a little bit more about that. And the first thing you have to know is that the opposite is also true. With greater reward comes greater risk. So while you could also earn a lot more money in a self-directed IRA, you could also lose a lot more money in a self-directed IRA. And that's why it's incredibly important for you to be a savvy investor and do your proper research before investing in anything with your self-directed IRA funds. And one way you can do that is by subscribing this channel and watching my videos because I break down how to be wise when you're investing in real estate. Okay, so let's get into an example of how a self-directed IRA can actually supercharge your wealth. We're gonna have to compare that with what you could earn with a traditional IRA. So if you were super savvy in your early 20s and you were maxing out your IRA and you did that, for the next 40 years, you would have just under a million dollars. You'd have about 900,000. If that 900,000 earned 5% a year in compound interest, by the time you were ready to retire, you would have about four and a half million dollars, which is a heck of a lot of money. Okay, but let's go ahead and set aside that that's not true for most people. Most people do not start investing in their retirement that young nor do they max it out. But this is just an example, so let's just assume that that's true. So for that person who has invested perfectly over 40 years, they are a multimillionaire. So now let's look at the example with the self-directed IRA. So someone in their mid 40s has about a million dollars in their retirement, they open a self-directed IRA. Let's say that they buy 
four properties, each of them at $250,000. They turn those properties into short-term rentals that then profit $3,000 a month. So it took a year to get those properties up and running because you had to do a little bit of rehab to each property and then you had to furnish them and then list them for rent. So let's say that over the course of 19 years, you have four properties earning $3,000 a month. By the time you reach retirement age in 19 years, you would have just over two and a half million. You'd have 2.7 million. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, 2.7 million is less than four and a half million and you would be absolutely right. But here's the thing you're missing and this is really the power of investing in real estate. Over the course of those 19 years, each of those homes has been appreciating at a rate of 5%. So that by the time you are ready to retire, each one of those homes is worth $663,000 each. And that's just over two and a half million in equity. When you add the 2.7, to the 2.5, you are then worth over $5 million. So by doing the self-directed IRA strategy and buying those four properties, compared to the traditional path and maxing out your retirement over 40 years, you'd have $1 million more dollars. But you would also have four tangible assets that you could either keep, you could sell, you could pass it on to your loved ones. And guess what? The tax code provides you advantages if you wanna sell those properties or you wanna bequeath them because you can do it in a way where you pay zero in capital gains tax. And capital gains tax is the tax that you will pay on the difference between the amount that you paid for the property and the amount you sold it for. You are going to pay taxes on the profit. But if you do either of these two strategies I'm gonna talk about next, you could pay zero in capital gains. The first way to do it is through what's called a 1031 exchange. This is another provision of the tax code where if you sell real estate and you reinvest those profits to buy other real estate, that's very similar. So a like for like exchange, let's say you sell a single family home, you buy another single family home and you do it through the 1031 exchange, you can essentially defer the capital gains tax. You will not pay it if you do it properly. Now, let's say that you want to keep the homes and instead you want to leave them as an inheritance to your loved ones. If you do that, then you're also not paying any taxes because you still own the homes. And then your loved ones could just do the same thing. They could keep the homes or they could sell them, reinvest in more real estate and kick the can down the road and not have to pay any capital gains tax using the 1031 exchange. So you can see how through a self-directed IRA, you're tapping into multiple ways of building wealth. You're tapping into cash flow as well as appreciation when you use that self-directed IRA to invest in real estate. Now, everything that I just shared is completely useless if you don't know how to open a self-directed IRA properly. Comment the word open down below and I will film a video that will walk you step by step through the process of opening and investing with your self-directed IRA. If you wanna become an Airbnb host, my link is down below. Use it to sign up and you will earn $40 after you host your first guest. Also look down below for a completely free shopping guide. I list all of the links to decorate and furnish your Airbnb like a pro. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Bye-bye.